Just tonight, the contentious new code telling nurses to say sorry for being white when treating their Indigenous patients. Now, it's the latest in a string of politically correct changes for the health industry, but this one has led to calls for the nursing board boss to resign. And as Yaz Dedovich reports, even some Aboriginal leaders have described it as potentially damaging. According to how the code is written, the white nurse would come in and say, uh, before I deal with you, I have to acknowledge to you that I have certain privileges that you don't have. What we've got is a bunch of do-gooders who think that this is actually going to help people, where in reality it's only dividing society. The code says that I must tell you that they come about because of my whiteness and your disadvantage becomes because of your blackness. I doubt that it's come from an Aboriginal community, that's for sure. No actual consultation with Aboriginal people. They're the backbone of our health system, often overworked and underpaid. Nurses are very caring people. They're always respectful. It's in their, it's in their genes. I mean, this is, the, this is the thing that's so outrageous because the, the fundamental presumption of this code is that nurses are currently racists. But now a new imposition, one that could threaten their livelihood. It only takes a single complaint from a patient to say, you didn't acknowledge your white privilege, I felt culturally under threat or, or subsumed by you, and the nurse can find themselves hauled before the tribunal and subject to a, a conduct complaint. It has many like Graham Haycroft from the Nurses Professional Association of Queensland up in arms. This is introducing a form of apartheid. Into, into nursing, into the health system. In changes to the National Code of Conduct for nurses and midwives when treating patients who identify as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders, they must first acknowledge their white privilege. This is a sentence out of the glossary of the, the paper itself. In relation to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health, cultural safety provides a decolonizing model of practice based on dialogue, communication, power sharing and negotiation and the acknowledgement 